If you would have told us that seven years ago our school would grow to be known and officially recognized as a forest school, we may not have believed you. We have five forest school trained staff and a bus system to transport children to our school from any catchment and a teaching environment with 100% buy-in. To give a little history, we started our journey when a parent of one of our kinders at Kuwaitan Public School approached Heather Much to see if she could facilitate a few sessions for a course she was taking. It just so happened to be the Forest School Practitioners course. This was a new concept to us that we didn't know a lot about, but we already had a love of nature and prided ourselves with child-led learning. This seemed like the perfect fit for us. We were so impressed with the learning the children were doing and the extension of our own learning as teachers. This type of learning allowed us as adults to become observers and only step in when safety was an issue or extending the learning with leading questions. We started to really notice the strong connection to land and the positive connections our students were making with each other outdoors. Throughout the years, we continued extending the walls of our classroom to the forest and were amazed by the experiences and skills the children were learning. The children were learning about their bodies through long walks, exploring different types of terrain and challenging themselves through different types of risks. They could jump, climb, balance, and explore different elements and environments. They were developing physical stamina and exploring using multiple senses, encouraging creative, diverse, and imaginative play. Not only were they building confidence, but they were building social skills, language, and communication, learning about new perspectives by building a relationship with the teachers and their friends, and acquiring new knowledge and respect for their environment. Over the period of a few years, we had seen incredible gains in all of our children and decided to apply for a TLLP. We developed the idea of creating a space on our school ground that supports us in extending the classroom to our playground. This project was supported through the Teacher Leadership Learning Program, which guided us through the process of creating this space. The space has amphitheater seating made of logs, a learning wall that can hold swings or musical instruments, small drum seats, a whale drum, and an incredible water station, paired with a water bin with a hand pump to send the water out into the flowing area. Not to mention a sundial and a beautiful handcrafted fire pit. Kids love all elements of the space and can flow through their learning at all different paces. Most recent addition was the construction of a greenhouse so we could plant and harvest our own veggies. With the onset of COVID, we felt it necessary for the safety of our kindergartners and ourselves in creating an outdoor space of our own. Um, this would be the space that we could visit on a regular basis and we later named it Kinderland. We meet for large chunks of our day with both kindergarten classes to explore, cook on the fire, play and learn. The families in our program are so supportive. They acknowledge that we learn through play and getting dirty or wet is just a part of the process. There is no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing, and also we are all washable. Part of exploring Kinderland is preparing for our day of adventures. Before we head out, we ensure that our space is safe by doing a site check. Our wagon gets packed up of all the things needed and our pack sack is filled with a first aid kit, change of clothes, class list, knife, hatchet, garbage bags, extra socks, walkie talkie, and of course the luggable loo to make sure we were prepped and ready to roll. The children get suited up in our splash suits, which were so generously donated by parent council. Water bottles filled, rubber boots on, and we are on our way. The children come together as a group ready to talk, make plans on how we're going to walk as a wolf pack to our destination. We have learned that wolves travel in a single file line where stronger wolves, aka a teacher, 
stays towards the front and to ensure we arrive all together, another strong wolf takes up the back. We are a wolf pack. We stick together. No one or anything gets left behind. Once we arrive, the silly swing and climbing rope get put up if requested, and our treasure chest with our pots, pans, and shovels gets opened for the kids to come and be ready to play. The kinders always arrive with excitement and questions. We find a spot to sit to discuss safety around the fire pit and set some boundaries for the day. The boundaries were created with brush and fallen trees to ensure safe zones were visible. The fire pit area in Kinderland is always our meeting place. When they hear the wolf call, ow, they know where. What season is it, Jonan? Why? It is so magical watching the children run around, checking everything the space has to offer. Once they become comfortable with the space and have visited a number of times to become familiar with what it has to offer, it becomes a space they feel free to explore in on their own way. They climb the hill, swing on the swing, find bugs, explore the creek with pots and pans, filling up shovels with water and emptying them into the buckets, then dumping them out again. Sheer joy. The Luggable Lou was very new for some. Not only had some children never gone to the washroom outside, never mind braving the elements as well, sitting on a pail with a toilet seat seemed foreign. It took a lot of encouragement and support to get them to use it for the first time. Now some children get excited to use it. Thankfully, the pack sack is equipped for a couple of surprises. The kids really love the silly swing. Not only does it provide that stimulation for the kids that need it, they learn how to take turns. To help guide them on how they can all have a turn fairly, we asked how they could work things out, and one was happy to let me know she would count to 20, because that is what she does when she washes her hands. She turned into the counter for many, because some could not count that high. Everyone started waiting and was excited to get off after Robin got to 20. With just a little pop in with encouragement to work together, they solved the problem for themselves. A space is provided for every child to hang their pack sack and a designated pail for trash. What we pack in, we pack out. The kinders are always reminded what it means when they hear the call. To meet up by the fire, keeping them safe if there was a problem, an animal, or they had to come quick. Stay together and be loud. Lunches were set up so that each child had a yoga mat. They had their own space to eat and as the time progressed, the class sizes increased, we provided large tarps, tables and benches for them to enjoy eating and socializing with friends. As time passed and the children became engaged in everything that the space had to offer, we acknowledge and recognize all the smiles and happiness. We walked around talking to the kids about they were making and why. They had such great ideas and some even had requests for what we could bring out next time like chalk to draw pictures on the rocks. When we walked around letting the children know we were leaving shortly and to finish their play, the mud soup was eaten and we did all our wolf call to meet at the fire pit. They all came over, some needing more encouragement than others. Reminding them what we do when we hear the call, we then sang, leave leaves, sticks and stones, you find them on the ground. Respect the creatures that we find, return them when they're found. We collected our bags, wagon, lugaloo, ensured the fire was dead out, counted the children, Pam at the front and me at the back, and headed out together as a wolf pack. We are proud of the journey taken to get here, and even more proud to be part of the wolf pack at Kuwaitin Public School.